World Ventures is becoming a magnet for success because it's basically the nature of what we're all about. It's hard to believe how much ground we've covered in such a short period of time. You know, in our first year, we did about 15 million in sales. Our second year, we closed out at right at $50 million. That's a, over a 320% increase in our second year. And we are totally convinced that we will clear in our third year $100 million. And I'll tell you what's going to happen much faster than you might imagine is that we're going to become a billion dollar company. And some of you, especially the people newer to our company, you might find that hard to believe or you think, you know, that's, that's pr it's a pretty outrageous, outrageous goal. If you've really taken the time and you've studied companies that have achieved that level of success, what you found is that it's, it's rare that a company that invents a brand new product or introduces into a brand new product segment has that type of success. What's more common where you see these companies that achieve this mega success, it's companies that enter an industry that's already very, very large, also very competitive. They do something just a little bit different and they carve out a small little piece of a really big pie and with that small little piece, they are become over a billion dollar a year company. A great example of that is Cheesecake Factory. I mean, we all know how competitive and how big the restaurant business is. And Cheesecake Factory, they're not doing something that much different than everybody else. They're doing things just a little bit different. But they've, they are a super success in business today. One of my favorite examples is Starbucks. I mean, how long has the coffee industry been around, and how big is the coffee industry? Okay, I mean, how many companies sell coffee? Starbucks, doing it just a little bit different, they carved out their piece, and now they're a multi-billion dollar company. And I've got a little demonstration that I want to show you that I think is kind of fun. The, uh, the coffee industry is a hundred billion dollars. So a hundred billion dollars uh, every year is spent around the world on coffee. Each one of these gumballs represents one billion in annual sales. There's a hundred gumballs in here. This is the coffee industry. So Starbucks, if they want to, let's say they're brand new and they're starting out and they've got this goal to become a billion dollar company, they need to carve out one percent of that pie. So they would need to have this much of that pie, 1%. So it's really you know, a small percentage of this overall pie. They've been more successful than that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They do about $8 billion in sales. That's a pretty significant portion of the entire worldwide global sales of coffee. The nutrition industry is $226 billion every year is spent on nutrition. So again, each one of these gumballs represents a billion in sales. So here's the coffee industry, here's the nutrition industry. And by the way, you may not know this or not, but over half of all the network marketing companies on the planet today, they're nutrition companies. Now let's talk about the travel industry. We need a bigger base here. All right, here's the travel industry. impressive, right? Well, it doesn't stop there. That's pretty big, right? There's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> and one more. <laughs> 
All right. So here's coffee. Here's nutrition, the entire nutrition industry. Here's travel. Travel industry is seven trillion dollars every year spent on travel, and they also say that the travel industry is going to grow from seven trillion to thirteen trillion over the next decade. Nutrition and travel. Over half of all the network marketing companies that are out there, those they're nutrition companies. And by the top experts' estimate, there's probably at least three to five thousand nutrition network marketing companies out there today. Now let's play the numbers down a bit. Let's say it's not three to five thousand companies. Let's say it's only two thousand nutrition network marketing companies. And then let's also say that of this two hundred twenty-six billion, let's say that thirty percent of that two hundred twenty-six billion is represented by network marketing, because we know nutrition sold by a lot of other things other than network marketing. I mean, direct mail, television commercials, radio commercials, uh, retail. Sam's, Walmart, uh, all the grocery stores, GNC, Vitamin World, Whole Foods. I mean, you can buy nutrition just about anywhere, right? Okay. But let's say of this $226 billion pie, that 30% of it was represented by network marketing. That'd be about a third of this. It would be $68 billion, or about 68 of these gumballs. So of the 2,000 nutrition network marketing companies that are out there, they're all competing for that same 68 gumballs, right? That same 68 billion is what they're all competing for, those 2,000. Now, if those 2,000 were all equal, that would represent 30 million in annual sales per company, okay? which is pretty significant by most people's standards. I mean, we did a lot more than that our second year in business, but we're not typical. So let's say they're all doing 30 million, getting their equal share, 30 million a year in sales. Now, let's compare that to the travel industry. And let's really take these numbers down to the ridiculous. Let's not say that network marketing is going to capture 30% of this. Let's say that network marketing captures 1% of this. That would be 70 billion in the pie, and there's only a few other travel network marketing companies that we even know about, but let's say there's 10 around the world. So you got 10 all competing over that $70 billion, and if each of those companies equally gained their share, it wouldn't be $30 million a year, it would be $7 billion a year. $7 billion a year. Another way of looking at these numbers is that if you, let's say that you knew uh, that the very best way for you to achieve your financial dreams and your financial goals is to team up with a network marketing company, and there's two companies that you really like. One of them's a nutrition company, and one of them's a travel company. And let's say those companies are equal in every way. Okay, the only difference that we're going to talk about is the numbers that I just shared with you right here. If you were to pick the travel company, Instead of the nutrition company, you would have a 620,000% greater chance of picking the right company just by picking travel. Who likes those odds? Tell me there's not an opportunity to do some mind-blowing things on a global scale in the years ahead. I am absolutely certain in my heart I have never been more sure of anything in my life. I know this with every fiber in my being. World Ventures is the company.